Welcome back to the big board, and this really is a big board. This is Austerlitz, and it's, uh, that's from the NBS uh, system from the gamers. It used to be called the Napoleonic Brigade system, and I think it ended up being called the Napoleonic Battle system. <coughs> Something like that. Anyway, as some smarty pants said, yeah, it does look like a heat map from the USA today, doesn't it? Uh, not the most uh, attractive map in the world. Nevertheless, we are going to play this game. Uh, we have all the orders completed from all the polls, from all the voters. Thank you very much for voting. And each formation is represented by a blank counter. And I am going to, uh, on the backs of these, there are numbers. Uh, and I've uh, colored just little blue dots on the French units to uh, help me keep track of them. <clears throat> and we've gone through the turn sequence and we've done the uh, command phase which of course being the first turn there's nothing to do because all of the turns have been uh, orders have been issued and uh, accepted uh, we've gone, so we've gone through order issue local, local initiative, the random events uh, we don't have to check for attack stoppage or anything fun like that uh, there's no fire phase as there is no one to shoot at so that brings us to the movement phase. It's 8.30... Yep, 8.30 a.m. We have fog. Yellow is fog. It's not 8.30 a.m. Dog. Let's move this. We actually start at 6 a.m., I believe. Now I'm going to have to check that. This is when reinforcements come in. I believe. So... Yeah, I think it's 6 a.m. I'll double check that. But basically we've got uh, fog uh, up until 9.30 and potentially as late as 10.30 or 11, depending on die rolls. So, a little terrain key there for you. So when you do look at the map when we're doing a video, you'll got to get an idea on what's going on. I'll try and explain most of the stuff as we go. So I am going to move the units, I will explain, come back to you and explain where I moved and what I did. I was going to give you the option to vote on whether or not to drop scouts or to drop decoy units. I think what I'm going to do is just assume that every time a formation moves and it's out of line of sight from an enemy, they will uh, pop a decoy and every organization, every formation will pop at least one uh, scout unit and that scout unit will uh, scout its objective as to where it's headed uh, and I think that will be a simple solution to save you having to vote all the time if you do wish to vote on that you know what to do make a comment on the video make a comment on the blog at uh, meshtime.com and we'll go from there all right I think uh, that's a wrap <coughs> I'm going to write up these orders and uh, post them up as, as and, and take photographs as we go. So I'll be writing up the story and providing snippets as we go along so that you can get a feel for it. And when time's appropriate to uh, issue new orders or make decisions, then we will give you the opportunity to do that. All right, talk to you soon.